guys, where can you go after you've learned your finger and your thumb rolls? Right, so first of all, the, the prerequisites for this is to learn same time. I, I, I almost call them um, finger roll push-ups. So, because we're pushing them up to the sky. So we're going here, push it up. So, how, base, how to break this down, I'm going to go into it right now. So, first of all, what you need to do, okay, is you need to have your, you will need to understand that the bounce is happening underneath the arm here, okay, and it's not being initiated from the top here, okay. So, once we understand that, that's perfect. So, we're going to initiate the, the bounce, and we're going to use the momentum from the bounce that's happening on our back, like this. And then what we're going to do is, as this bounce is on our back, we're going to use this momentum, okay? And and they're going to go around our thumbs, uh, four fingers, sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to let that roll, the roll up, and then we're going to stick almost our fingers in front. Do you kind of see how this, this is placed on my hand? This is going to be key, and you're going to turn your hands back, so your palms and your hands are facing from behind you from there. What you're then going to do is you're going to reverse this and go into centre line. So that is going to look like this. So once you've got this, that is perfect. Uh, next of all, we're going to kind of split time this. So uh, what we're going to do, uh, not split time it, we are going to be initiating a thumb roll with our finger spin. So what that looks like is this. So let's go into it. So first of all, you need to be have the, the idea of this is happening. Uh, one chuck is happening on top of the other okay so one chuck is happening here whilst one chuck is happening here okay they're 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 in their own clear path okay that means there's a gap between them that is going to be key to actually ma make an illusion look because if i show you from the side uh, you can clearly see they're in their own plane but if i show you from here it kind it's it gives it that different little aesthetic if i show if you can see yes so next of all what we're then going to do is is as as we go from underneath the arm as we go from on the top of the arm here what we're going to do okay is we're going to have our thumb pointing at the sky or our forefinger which whichever whichever one you want to do whichever one you feel right and then you're going to go whoosh and then and then you're going to like put them these in their own place okay but by, by their own place i mean as you can see there's there's a big gap but if if i'm here that gap looks drastically smaller do you see it's just an optical illusion about what's going on. So as we bounce underneath our arm, or you can bounce you underneath your arm here and at your waist, or you can go here, up here. So there is a there is a clear gap in between them both. Okay, you can see this here. You can see the gap in between them. But as soon as they initiate, they 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 you want this to be happening over here and not here. Do you see? Because if I show you from the ca the camera, can perfectly see that I'm that they're in their own gaps, but over here they're not. This is going to be key to doing all of this, guys. It's so hard actually doing two complete moves, like you're doing thumb roll here and a finger roll here, they're rolling on different digits, but actually coming, being able to do this, and it's just very, very satisfying. So we we can go into our split time thumb rolls. These are pretty basic. These are going to be pretty much fundamental. And then you've got your same time thumb rolls. So them I'm going to teach you now. So first of all, what with the with the split time, okay? What's happening is I'm going to be doing a standard thumb roll. By a standard thumb roll, what I'm doing is I'm push, pushing my finger out like this. Okay, this is the motion that I'm kind of making. So if you kind of pay attention how, how I'm going to push my finger out, but and flicking it with my wrist to so say there's this flick here whoosh and that there okay when you do it here okay and you kind of this this part of your thing hand here right at the base of the finger that is what you really want to be pushing forward for so you almost want to be touching like this whoosh. yeah so as you can see as i go, go to touch the camera with that part of my hand but you want to be sticking your thumb out so if you kind of imagine it's going to be going like that okay so that is is the technique to get this and you need to keep these fingers well out of the way of of this this thing here okay 
So when when we're doing this, what we're doing is we're we let we initiating the thumb roll. We're catching it. We're going into this wrist roll and we're pushing it down. Okay, exactly the same with this. Bring it up, finger roll, wrist roll, push it down. Okay. You can do that like this as well, just with wrist rolls. Um, if if you're finding that hard and you kind of get the feeling of doing it with the wrist rolls before you do it with finger rolls that's a little bit little tip if you're struggling with this and it's becoming a little bit hard and overwhelming for you um i definitely recommend do it, doing a wrist roll version of this it's 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 almost like um it's an illusion roll um that's that's how ken hill taught me this ages ago so it's like this is your standard illusion roll but in essence what you're doing you're doing the finger roll and the thumb rolls and you split time with it but you're kind of doing illusion rolls with your thumbs thumb rolls and wrist rolls and that's going to be pretty much key so if you're kind of struggling with that i definitely recommend going over to ken hill's channel and checking out his tutorial on illusion rolls because that i feel that will be extremely beneficial for you moving forward and learning which obviously if you spin them trucks you want to evolve you don't want to stay in the same place because that could be kind of off-putting for you as, as an artist so there's just a few tips for you. Um, if you like this, by any means, subscribe. Uh, you'll be supporting the channel. You'll be supporting the growth of this channel. As I say, I, I don't, I'm just gonna put out stuff just because I want to share the knowledge. You know what I mean? It should be, it should be, um, yeah, 100% open source, and that's that's my own goal. So that's to put all of the moves that I come up with, and not really charge you for it. But if you want to support me. Um, buy a set of my chucks. I run a shop on Facebook. Buy a set of my chucks. That'll be much appreciated. Um, and they're durable as well. So yeah, awesome. So see you soon, guys.